Hello my scrappy friends and welcome to my channel today. So this share is for Scrap the Boys for the November challenge. As you can see it's um, somewhat superhero inspired. Um, I you can see I've taken inspiration from the boom uh, and that shape and uh, to be honest with you I really actually struggled with this one for a while before I came up with the design that I came up with. Uh, I was really trying to stick to the colour scheme as well as that boom. Um, I pulled out a collection and I wasn't loving it. Then I kind of rethought about it and realised that the child that I'm scrapbooking, the yellow and the red is not really him. So I kind of thought to myself, I even said to my husband, there's nothing wrong with superheroes and pink and teal, right, for Jacob? And he went, absolutely not so i pulled out the chamel glitter girl collection because what other collection would i use uh, i googled uh, i think a kaboom speech bubble or something found an image off the internet imported that into my um, silhouette software and cut uh, two of the shapes uh, one from the pink unicorn pattern and one from the teal pattern and I'm using this fun uh, lightning bolt paper as my background. It is, uh, it's got little tiny white dots uh, around the lightning bolts and I've got these photos of my son. It is the same photo, um, but for some reason, I can't remember exactly why, he had his, um, had his shirt off and I was like, he's like, look at my muscles, mum. I'm like, hang on, hang on, let me get my camera. Show us your guns, dude. And he went, what? said show us your guns you know your muscles like you just were and so he did a few poses for me um but the grin on his face and yeah so um when the title comes up as show us your guns it's not actual guns uh, but he was just so cute you can see i've layered uh those two photos together and added some white gesso to his background paper uh, i did want those speech um those superhero bubbles to pop a bit more and so I've just added some white gesso uh, basically smack bang in the middle of the page and faded the edges out I wanted to add some mixed media because it's me uh, and I decided I would pull on the yellow because I've got the pink and the teal in the speech bubbles so I'm just using some mist and I used a paintbrush and some water packaging technique going to dry it off and then I'm going to come back in with some more colour and just continue with that until I am happy with the finished um, colour on the page. So I'm just adding a bit more colour here and there, moving around with my paintbrush, tipping the page, just until I'm happy with how it looks. Now I know this is a few days late. Um, I was lucky enough to go to a retreat in um, Queensland um, for those of you that don't know, it was um, for, for me from Perth to Queensland. It's a it's two flights, one from here to Sydney, which is about five hours long, and then from Sydney to the sunny coast, which is another couple of hours. So it was full day travelling, um, and then flight delays on the way home mean I am not really sure what day it is, maybe even not sure who I am anymore, but that's okay. Uh, so this is a few days late but it's done and I really love how it turned out. You can see once my background was dry I wanted to come in with some more in that background. I'm using a stamp here and some grey ink. Uh, because my photo is black and white I wanted to bring a bit more of that into the um, onto the background to kind of tie it together a bit more. So I'm using um, that was a little star texture stamp uh, in grey and then I'm going to use this, um, this, it's not a, it, it's a font, it's like a typewriter font stamp uh, and some black ink and just on that diagonal from the top left to the bottom right and again just to bring some more of that dark into the background. I decided to ink the edges of the superhero speech bubbles 
and I'm just drying off all my stamping. I'm going to come back in with some splatters in the yellow because every good page needs some splatters. Don't they, Gwen? Hmm. So yeah, just adding in those splatters straight from the mist bottle. I think I add some darker ones, but I can't remember. I did do this page before I went away. Jeez, I had a lot of splatters I didn't even realise. So this is the other yellow colour that I used. One is a Shimmers and the other is a Lindy's. Um, I can't remember what it's called. It's a mist, obviously. I'm going to pop that aside to dry and then I stitched around the edges and have added foam to both of these layers. I just used some grey thread um, and I'm going to make sure I offset those two just for a bit of added interest. I really love how this page came, came out in the end. It's definitely my boy, definitely. I'm just going to add that to the middle of the page. My photo has some foam behind it as well. So I think next you see me with my title. No, I'm going to add in a bit of gold because the uh, letter stickers that I've pulled out to work with, there is uh, one of the fonts is gold. So it's just some gold tissue paper that I found in my stash. So I'm unpacking from retreat, um, but I made a deal with myself that I was going to tidy my craft room before I unpacked everything. And I've rearranged half the furniture in here. If you've seen my room tour video, I have moved my two desks around. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm not unpacked at all. Uh, so I'm just working on my title here. Does anyone else do that with, you know, with their putting things away or totally get distracted and start rearranging everything? So I'm using two fonts here. Uh, one is the tiny letter stickers by Paige Evans, and then the I think the gold one is a Dear Lizzie font. Uh, I've got a rubber, a couple of rubber charm pieces from Coco Vanilla Studio. Uh, the one underneath my title says that's my boy, and then the one uh, on the two photos is so much fun. And those little lightning bolts are from um, Anna's Craft Cupboard from the Annabelle range, um, the acrylic shapes. Um, I'm looking at this rainbow now and I'm, I, I still don't know if I like it or not. I haven't, spoiler alert, it t comes off the page. But tell me, um, do you think I should add it back in? Leave me a comment. Let me know if you get as distracted as I do. Um, and if I should leave the, put the rainbow on, um, that snap camera is a lenticular piece from the Glitter Girl, uh, ephemera pack. Love. I love it. I was like, that's just perfect. I'm going to add this pink tag after I staple on this rubber charm. I'm going to add a staple here as well, just so that it's matchy, because I've added some staples to my photo. Like, oh, this is a bit cute. I'm liking the way this is looking. I'm going to make sure things are straight. see I'm thinking I'm like what am I going to do I decide to grab a little um, a little bag to add my tag behind my photo I still need to add my journaling onto that and a bit slack I've got four or five layouts sitting here that need journaling added to them 
I'm just going to add this into the layers as well. I'm sorry I'm off screen. I'm like this is really cute. I really like it. Um, you know when an idea comes, it just comes together. Once I changed the collection I was using and the colours, it all just came together. It was it was actually quite a quick layout for me to put together. And like I said, I really love the way it turned out. And so does Jacob. He's like, that's so cool, Mum. Just going to use some tacky glue and stick down my lightning bolts. These are so cute. And um, I don't remember what else. I think I add some darker splatters because that seems like something I would do. I think I also add some white splatters. Yep, cover up the photo. This is my white. I am loving this India ink. So awesome. Just make sure if you pick some up yourself, make sure you give it a good shake. It seems to separate in the bottle. Sorry, if you can hear me drinking, I'm having a cup of tea while I do my voiceover. And I'm pretty sure I add the black as well. Yep. I, um, the white I did all the way around and the black I've just done on that diagonal from the top left to the bottom right and I didn't add too many. And because I have my gold word in my title and the gold um, tissue paper, of course I have to add gold splatters. And I'm pretty sure that is going to wrap up my page. I really love how this turned out. Um, so, I mean, th the fun of the inspiration piece is that you can take it literally and use exactly the colours. Um, obviously, I haven't taken it quite as literally, but I have used the main graphic there as my inspiration, which is what started my whole process. Um, I've got a few close-ups here for you. Make sure you head over to the Scrap the Boys blog so that you can enter your take on this challenge. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will be back soon with some more shares for you. Uh, as always, thank you so much for stopping by and have a fantastic scrappy day.